All right, this is an episode you're going to have your pen and paper ready. My man, Chris Jones, is going to bring so much value to you, so many ideas that you can apply right now that are definitely going to give you the opportunity to see your business grow. Let's get to it. All right, everybody, I'm super excited to have Chris Jones with us today. Chris, um, first off, man, I appreciate your friendship. I appreciate all the insights you give me, um, all the crap you give me. Also, you don't let me slide on anything. Uh, but listen, I really am excited because um, I love the way that you do the business. I love the way that you coach in the business also. Um, if you don't mind, in case somebody doesn't know you, give us a little bit of background, who you are. Tell us about your team and then maybe coaching also. All right, I'm, I'm Chris Jones. I'm a, I'm from Tennessee, but I've lived in St. George, Utah for 20 years. I've been selling houses here 20 years. I've got a team of that uh, we we fluctuate between 12 and 14. Uh, we'll do about 60 million. Um, it's a good, solid, small town, middle of Utah. It's great. What's y'all's average sales price? Because I know that's a lot of transactions out there. Well, I mean, we've been we've been we've always hovered at that 270 to 300 range. This year, we're probably going to jump up close to 400. Awesome. That's incredible. I mean, that's a lot of transactions. Um, so obviously, you know, what's, I think what happens naturally, I mean, you, the way you grow your team is by your ability to kind of relate to the agents, coach the agents. I, that's I, it's just kind of a natural for you to start coaching some folks, I would assume. Yeah. Yeah, it was great. It was great. I'm really grateful to Greer for giving me the opportunity with Boomtown and coaching. And I, I'm, I'm pleased with it. I've enjoyed it over the years. Yeah. Well, listen, I know because you, because we've got some mutual friends that you've coached and you've helped out with, and kind of the things they've told me that you've done in their business. I really want to get into some things really to talk about specifically that because you see so many different agents in different markets, in different environments, and all of those things, you know, let's talk about some things that are pretty much in every market, every type of agent. So let's really, you know, I don't want to start with the negative, but let's find some things that we don't want to do. And then we'll just talk about some things we want to do. So okay. give me some ideas of some mistakes you see agents make, really where we can foundationally start from making sure we're not making big mistakes. What are some of those? My top three are probably uh, agents that don't, don't have a daily calendar. They don't have a schedule. They don't have a way to, uh, to know what they need to do. And the, the second one would be they don't know how to win. They don't, they don't know how many people they need to speak to in order to accomplish their goals. They, they may have rough goals, but they don't, how does that, if you break that down to how many people a day do I need to have a conversation with in order to, uh, to do that is the tracking. They're, they're not tracking at a high enough level in order to be able to, to see where their gaps are. To, I mean, mo some coaches can't even help people because we, we don't know where their break is unless they, unless they track properly. Um, and then just being scared of the phone, people not, people wanting to, wanting to text their way to a, to a million bucks. And I, I don't know how to do it. I appreciate it. If somebody figures that out, I wish they'd share that with me because <laughs> I haven't seen it yet. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'd really like, I'd like to know the secret. I know. Well, let's go back and let's delve into these a little bit on the daily calendar. What does a successful person's daily calendar involve? There's certain things that everybody needs to have on that. What does that look like for you or for your team or people that you work with? So, so the way we teach it is um, before you leave today, you should know exactly what you're doing tomorrow. So That's you good. should write out your calendar for tomorrow in as much detail as you can so that when you wake up, you don't have to think. You should lay out your clothes. You should have your workout ready. You should know where you're going and what you're going to do. Before you leave today, you should line out your tomorrow. Um, and then just a good, solid, healthy balance of exercise and good food and that kind of stuff. Just, just a good, healthy life. So I like the balance there also. I mean, obviously, you know, I think sometimes you can get successful in one area and it doesn't matter if you don't have your health, you know, kind of thing. Yeah, um, and let's, it's, and I mean, we've, we've been through a lot of that this year. I mean, you know, that's, you know, it's, it's, it's exciting. I mean, you know, when you and I were talking about how you've been focusing on your health a little more, you know, I'm the same way. I mean, I mean, I, I want to come out of this last, everything we've been through stronger than I was when I went in. I mean, I think it's, it's, we, I don't know that you and I have had a chance in our lifetime to have to hit the reset button. You know what I mean? to have some time spent with family and do those things. Um, let's talk about as far as the work portion of that calendar. I mean, I know that because I know you, I know about the calls. I know about that. What does that look like? Or what is your estimation? I know it depends on goals, but what's the estimation you would say time on calls, amount of time follow up? How does that look uh, in some cases? Well, we teach them that they should break their day into two halves. 
your morning should be a complete day. Your afternoon should be a complete day. Mm -hmm. You can get as much done in that block as you want to do. Time will expand to the amount of time you have. Like if you, if you make it short and you do, so you need a prospecting time in the morning and a prospecting time in the afternoon. Uh, we teach set appointment blocks. So they have appointment blocks. If you don't have an appointment for that block, guess what the appointment is? Oh, it's with the phone. That phone. It's with the phone. <laughs> Right. So just, I mean, it's just, it's not so many calls that it's overwhelming, but a good agent that's out getting it is going, I mean, they're going to make two hours of calls a day minimum. Like it's, it really is. And that equates down to how many people you can speak to an hour. Good prospectors should be able to talk to 10 to 12 people an hour. So you can kind of do the math as to what that equates to. I want to make this much money. I need to talk to this many people. You just break it down backwards. That's really good. I mean, and that's the same way that I kind of teach with us, I mean, in reality, if I know, and again, you got to have data to know what's each individual, but if we're talking about, you know, I tell people when they start, because I'm hoping they're going to be more efficient, but 50 calls to a, to getting a transaction, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I want them to start there and then let's refine it. Let's see what your real numbers are after you've made a thousand calls, you know, because the numbers won't lie um, if you're tracking we've got, them. We've got some people on the team that are about 80 calls per appointment. We've got, mm -hmm. we've got some that are at 25, 27 calls an appointment. And it's just, mm -hmm. It's just a matter of skill level and they, but every year their, their call to appointment goes down. Like every month you can see it creeping down and they're getting a little bit better and a little bit better. And it's, it, it's pretty, it's cool to watch. And you know, what's fun about that too, Chris, I, I just had, I literally had this conversation with an agent the other day. She's like, well, I'm just not as good on the phone as you are. I'm not as good on the phone as, and she was pointing to another agent in her office. And I said, you know what? It doesn't matter. I said, you can outperform them. I mean, if you know that that it's going to take you twice as many calls to get appointments as them, if you'll do three times as many calls as them, you're going to get more appointments. I mean, it, the numbers work. So it's not a matter of if, it's just what is your commitment to it and is your goal seriously what you really want? So um, I, I'm, have you seen the same thing? I mean, really? It's absolutely, absolutely. And and we, we just had our 2021 goal setting meetings with our agents the last two weeks and it was, they were awesome. But going through talking to that, our focus this year isn't on the numbers. It's on how many vacations are you going to take? When are you right. going to spend time with your kids? How's your exercise life looking? Like we're really involved in the quality of their life. Yeah. Like the, the big the big benefit of the team is they can take weekends. They can take vacation. They can do stuff. And we support them and we, we try to help them accomplish their goals. Yeah, see, this is what – well, this goes back to your team because I love the way you really – dive into their lives. You do some interesting stuff. I mean, with, you know, kind of motivating them. Tell, share with everybody a little bit about kind of what you're doing right now and kind of what, uh, kind of some awards and things. I really love what y'all do. <laughs> well, we, the big, the big award we're giving out now is I've got, I've got a new guy on the team. Well, he's not new now. He's been here quite a while, but he, uh, he went to WWE school. So he's a wrestler. He's a big, he's a big dude. And he, uh, so he brought in a bunch of WWE belts and two of the most important metrics that we track are number of dial attempts, number of contacts. Mm -hmm. And so the, the total winner for the week, the, the, the call leader gets a, gets a belt and the contact leader gets a belt. And then everybody votes on a teammate of the week, somebody that's brought good lead energy and leadership and they get a belt. And if you, uh, if you have both, if you have two of the three belts, you get the fridge stocked with your favorite treat and your favorite drink of the week. So every week I'm, I'm buying somebody something, but it's great. Like I want, I want to push. I know that if I do the, 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 the calls up front, that the results will come. You got to track the thing, the lead indicators, the ones that, that will absolutely push your business. Man, it's so good. I mean, I love that. I mean, from a standpoint, I, you know, that's the kind of thing too. I mean, listen, if we're not having fun at what we're doing, we need to do something else. I mean, you know, give somebody some room that can have fun and do those things. You know, this goes back to what you were talking about, that a lot of people don't know how to win, you know, and they're sitting there in their environments where it's just, I mean, they dread getting up and going there and they don't know what to do. When you say you teach people how to win, um, we've talked a little bit about that, but can you expand on that a little bit about what that looks like? Okay. Well, there, there's a pattern to the way, once you set your contact goals, there, there's a pattern when you sit down to do your prospecting time of that you should, you should work through. And I, you may cover it. Yeah, I'd love to. Yeah. So, so we teach all the agents. Our, our agents do both sides. We don't have a listing agent, a buyer agent. Uh, when you hit your six months with the team and you can prove that you can properly list a house and follow all the procedures, everybody, everybody can list. Yeah. And so when they sit down in the day, they, they call FISBOs and expireds first, and then they go into Boomtown and they call their news. Then they clear their high activity wall. Then they clear their now wall. Then they work on all their messages 
Then they do their to-do follow-ups. We a lot of to-do and a lot of follow-ups. Then they call all their qualifies. Then according to the time frames, they call all their hots that, that need to be called, their nurtures, their watches. Then we go into SOI building. They do all their check-ins. They we do four big events a year. So we've mm -hmm. we've been inviting everybody to the event. So they do those calls if they need to. Everybody calls builders, all the builders in town to see what they have. So the next one they call is our builder list. Uh, they go into our Taylor account, which is our um, holding pond, our fishing pond account. And they call everybody in there that's been on the site in the last day. Uh, we go back, if they still need more contacts beyond that. Um, I've got a couple people on the team that have 35 to 50 contact a day goals because they've got big goals. And so we've got we've to have a lot of places for them to get people. And so they go through, they go into the, the pool account and call. Then we've got a business vendor community list. So they're always calling new businesses, trying to get on our vendor list. And that's a great way to get contacts. They call any, any new sellers that's hit that we need to follow up with. And then we go into geo farming. They, they go start calling for, we do multiple open houses every weekend. We call the 200 people around the open house to invite them. Um, then we go into just listing, just soul calls. And uh, beyond that, hey. <clears throat> there's not enough, you know, this is perfect. I mean, from that standpoint, Chris, I mean, having that outline, there's no doubt what's next. It's almost like, you know, I, I was talking to somebody the other week and it was so interesting. This guy used to be the um, former, um, I don't know whether it's called commander, he was the colonel over um, one of the special forces group for the army. And I was like, you know, I've got some friends that do really well when they come out um, and then some that struggle a bit. And I said, what do you think it is that makes, you know, the military, especially the special forces, such a unique group of people that are always seem to be growing, you know, and he said, well, he said, it's pretty basic. When you're looking at the way that the military is set up and, and the special forces is just the next level of this, it is like, okay, here's where you are. You want to go to here. So here's what needs to happen. You need to get educated. You need to train on it. And then you need to execute. And if you do those three things, you will then move to here. And, and the whole time you've got someone that just went through it. That's right above you. And you've got somebody right below you that's that you're helping with what you just went through. Yep. So you're 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 pouring out of the overflow that's being poured into you and the next person. Okay. So you're constantly floating up. And then when you get here, it's pretty straightforward. What's next? You're going to go get your education, your training, and you're going to execute. And then you're going to move to the next. And I think I'm trying to figure out exactly how to apply this to real estate. It's exactly what you're talking about, though. I mean, when you start, there's certain things you need to be doing. When you get to a certain level, there's certain things that you need to be adjusting to that are higher, better use for you. Um, and so I love what you're talking about there. And basically is, is prioritizing. These are the highest and best uses of your time. There's there's some that, you know, once you get through those, that just gonna, you got wins. You just got to keep walking through them. Is that kind of when y'all are doing this? I mean, how often are you having this? How are y'all communicating, like sharing some of this? I mean, I know y'all are a Y'all are a team that celebrates together. How do y'all communicate like wins so that it motivates everybody also? We, we've got the constant text channel going with the congratulations. We, right. everybody shows up to team meeting on Tuesdays with lender and title both come to team meetings. So there's, there's full communication with all the leads where everything's at, how's things going. Um, and we do celebration there. We, we role play a couple of times a week. Thursday afternoon's a big one. And there's, there's some celebrating and some fun stuff that goes on there. Um, and then just celebrating and communicating. Uh, we've got four new under three month agents on the team right now. And three of them wrote contracts this weekend through cool. yesterday. And it's just really cool seeing these new people take off and launch. I'm really, I'm always excited and have them yeah. take off. Yeah. Listen, I mean, I think this is, uh, you and I've talked about your kind of team makeup and kind of who you look for, for your team. Um, and you kind of mentioned, Hey, I just want somebody that's not afraid of the phone. I want somebody that's new, doesn't have bad habits. Um, and then you just want somebody that's hungry, you know, and that um, it's, it's a core, happy. it's a core requirement on our team within the first day or two, within your first two days, you're on the dial or dialing. Like we will, we do, we don't like scared. Uh, we, we find our best people. Um, I mean, honestly, the Verizon store is the best place, cell phone, cell phone booths, uh, gym membership people and uh, golf pros are our top four. Like just go get them. Really? That's yeah. very interesting. Yeah. And so, so you're constantly looking for those opportunities out oh, there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, I, I think sometimes too, and there's a lot of people that are just wondering, will I make it in real estate? I've always broken it down to, if you're willing to make the calls, yeah. if you're willing to find a way and learn how to add value to people, this business is unlimited. Like you just said, 
there's not an unlimited number of people that to call that need help our help. It's just, are you willing to do it? So yeah. um, listen, as we get ready to kind of wrap this up, some of the things, I mean, you've talked a lot about this from a standpoint, but I know because I've talked to you, you're, you're working with some of the, you know, some of the highest profile teams in the country. I, I know I, when we've talked about it from mutual friends of ours, I, I, I'm curious, you know, when you start, start looking at that, sometimes we want to refine it. You know what I mean? You've got something that's running really good. How do we make it great? You know, because I think there's probably, listen, the people that are listening to this probably, it's probably, it, there's going to be a mix of people, but there's going to be a group of people here that are doing really good, but they're, they're not quite getting over that hump to great. What are some of the, because I love the way you teach and the way you coach, which is basics. basics. What are some of the basics that you just make sure that you want, you would suggest people make sure they've got a lock as they go into this next year? Yeah, Boomtown, it's a, it's a great tool is for what you can do with it. But it, if you're not logging all of your communication, there's a lot of teams out there that just don't put everything in. And the, the, all the fancy algorithms and all the walls that tell you the predictive analytics, they can't tell you what's going to happen if you're not putting your activities in, all of them. Mm-hmm. And, and I, don't, I still don't understand why people don't put their sphere in there. There's, there's a lot of people that fight putting their SOI. Yeah. Like the, most teams will give you a, a deal a month. And then you need to get a deal a month. And the growth is in your SOI, in your business, as you grow and put it in there. And everything in there can be done in the system. It's pretty simple. It's not super hard to do. It's just consistent, constant action of adding new people every week. That's one of the great things we do on the coaching calls is the measuring and the tracking and the constant reminding. So, I mean, whenever we do coaching with a new client, first thing we do is just a system breakdown. Is everything in the right spot? Are you using it right? Are you on the right roadmap? I've seen enough teams that are really high producers and I know what they do. And if you want to do what they do, you just have to replicate it. And it's it's not hard, but making sure that everything's in the right place, you're saying the right things, you're using the right scripts, you're using the right smart drips. Every single lead is on an e-alert. That is the most critical piece. The number one thing that drives traffic back to you is e-alerts, email. MLS updates so that they're constantly getting houses and bringing them back. Um, just a lot of basics, a lot of just ma- make sure they're making their dials. They understand how many dials they need to make to win. Just lots of good stuff. Lots of basics. Man, Chris, I, <clears throat> I don't say this very often, but I hope you move around a little bit. So all this value that's dripping off of you doesn't puddle up because you just, just bring in some value. I really appreciate all of this. Listen, I know people got value out of this. I know they probably you know, want to get some more information. Um, what's the best way for them, number one, to find your team, and number two, to find out about your coaching, if you don't mind? You're always welcome to call or text me. I'm four, I'm 435-313-3966. It's the Redstone team in St. George, Utah. Uh, for coaching, uh, Calendly. Just jump on my Calendly link, uh, calendly.com slash Coach Chris Jones. And I'm, I'm right there with you. You can jump right in my calendar. It's not, I mean, we'll, we'll look at your stuff, break it down, tell you what we can do. And uh, I like doing it. It's a good time. Yeah. It's, I mean, the, and listen, people, I, I've always said this purpose and passion draws people. Yeah. In my opinion, man, I mean, you, you're purposefully adding value to people. And I mean, you got a passion about it that um, is pretty, pretty evident. Um, so it's no, it's no wonder you draw all these people. So congratulations. Listen, man, thanks for everything. Um, looking forward to catching up again. Um, I know you guys got something out of this. Make sure you reach out, let Chris know, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Appreciate it. Thank you.